Yo guys, Speedy E back here with another Pocket Planes video. Today we're gonna go over plane upgrades. So I'm on my low level account right now, and if you've seen the last video, I recently bought a lot of Arrow Eagles when I hit level 16. So today we're gonna explore what each plane upgrade actually does. So I'm just gonna go select my Arrow Eagle that is currently in Lima and click on the plane icon, and then you'll wanna click on upgrade. As you can see here, there's three different upgrades that you can do for each plane. And there are also three different levels for each of these upgrades. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what the range upgrade will do. So to test the baseline, we're just gonna go back out and see what the range is currently for this Arrow Eagle. So this is unupgraded and you can see it cannot reach Legos right now. And if we were to look around, it is just about right at San Francisco, we'll say. So we're just gonna go ahead and go back in and then upgrade the range one level. So this will cost me 13 bucks. Yes, and now let's go back out and take a look at how much the range has increased. So it increases it by 5%. So it used to be at San Francisco, but now it's just a little bit more. And so now let's take a look. It, it just is right above Winnipeg. Let's go ahead and upgrade it again to see where we're at. So upgrading it to level two, another 13 bucks. So before it was right outside Winnipeg, it's a bit further. Still can't make it to Lagos. Let's just go ahead and take a look at what it can do. So. It can't reach Delhi, it can reach Karachi. It can barely reach Tokyo. So it can't reach Tokyo, it's out of the range of Tokyo. So hopefully by the next upgrade, what we can do is actually reach Tokyo from Karachi. So what we'll do is we won't fly this just yet. We'll go back in, upgrade it all the way now to level three. So now you'll see the fuel tank is fully upgraded and we'll go back out do a little test flight here let's see if we can reach tokyo from karachi and we can perfect so what that did was instead of having to go through you know shanghai or guangzhou um, now we can fly a direct flight from karachi to, to tokyo so what that does is it actually saves some coin for us when we take more direct flights and in turn that gives us more XP. So by upgrading range you can create straight up flights for your planes and therefore increase your XP output per plane. So going into the next upgrade we actually want to look next at carbon fiber and that reduces the weight of the plane. So what that does is it actually increases the profit for your plane because you use less fuel because the plane is lighter. So what we're going to do is see how much profit we have as a baseline for when we fly from Lima to Tokyo. So as you can see, I have a full plane with a 25% boost. I'm just going to take note of what the profit is. So I'm going to make 7,108 coin from this flight with a plane that does not have the carbon fiber upgrade. So what we'll do now is upgrade the carbon fiber one level and then we'll see what the change in the profit is. So doing the same flight. So now we're at 7,396, which is a bit of an increase. So we're gonna go back in, upgrade it again to level two. Now we're going to do the same test flight to see how much more the profit is. It's now 7,683 coin, so pretty sizable. Last upgrade. All right, so now we finally fully upgraded the, the weight of the plane. We made it lighter. And the final profit is 7,971. So upgrading the weight fully will give us right around 900 more coin for this specific flight. So the last upgrade we wanna do is speed. 
So speed will make your plane a little bit faster uh, per upgrade, therefore cutting down the flight time. So you can see here right now baseline we're looking at around 1 hour and 32 minutes. The other thing you want to keep in mind with speed is it'll decrease your profit. It'll, it'll decrease the time it takes to get to the destination, uh, but it'll also decrease your profit. So let's take a look at how much it'll decrease both. So first upgrade, I think we were right around one, one hour and 32 minutes for this flight before. Doing this same flight now with the one level upgrade for the speed, we're looking at it shaving off around four minutes on the flight time. But at the same time, it did lower our profits. So we're gonna upgrade it again, level two. So baseline we were at one hour and 32 minutes, and then one upgrade later, we were at one hour 28 minutes. Now we're at one hour 24 minutes. And again, our profit has decreased. So the final upgrade with speed, let's go ahead and finally upgrade. So this plane is now fully upgraded with all the upgrades. Now we're looking at one hour 20 minutes for the flight. So fully upgraded, we shaved off about 12 minutes on our flight. And again, the profit did decrease. So after looking at what each of these upgrades do, my recommendation would actually not to fully upgrade the speed of the plane because it will decrease the profitability of the plane. So what I usually like to do for my planes actually is to fully upgrade the range and fully upgrade the carbon fiber weight and then leave the speed untouched. I feel this gives us the most profitable plane and you don't need to waste bucks on upgrading the speed. Alright, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and I'll try to answer it. I'll also leave a link to my Discord where we've been having a lot of fun and answering a lot of questions for uh, people that are coming back to the game or new to the game. As always, if you've been enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe as it helps me out a lot. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one. So tell me